Ars Lyrica's April 7 subscription program is entitled Long Live the Queen. For this program, we have the Moore School of Music Concert Chorale on stage with us, and we'll be presenting two of the forgotten gems of the 18th century choral literature, Bach's Trauer Ode and Handel's Ode for the Birthday of Queen Anne. If you like Bach's passion music, or if you like Handel's water music or his royal fireworks music, you'll love these two pieces. What I love about the Bach Trauer Ode, for example, is that you have four amazing solo vocalist parts, an amazing orchestral part, full four-part choir. It's really Bach at its most grand and beautiful, and I think it'll be a real treat. When I sing Bach, I consider myself just another instrument in the ensemble, and I take a lot of time and concentration to kind of modify my voice to match the color or sound of the instruments that are doubling me or that I'm actually singing in duet. And so that aspect of Bach music makes me feel like I'm actually one in the actual ensemble, like you could actually put me next to the first violinist. And when I sing Handel, especially in this work, I almost approach it more bel canto style. I think of the voice as more independent, much more florid, and a chance to kind of show off more of the versatility of the vocal instrument. As is typical in most oratorios, the chorus simply comments on the material and the emotions and the messages expressed by the soloists. This is particularly true in the Handel, but it's also largely true in the Bach as well. I love singing with a group like Ars Lyrica because performing this music with a group of artists who are specialists, like these amazing musicians of Ars Lyrica and like Matthew Durst, it just really makes the music come alive, especially in a space like Zilka. It's a unique experience in Houston and one that I hope you won't miss. The University of Houston Concert Chorale is extremely excited to collaborate once again with Ars Lyrica and Matthew Durst. Join us on April 7 at 7.30 at Zilka Hall. See you then.